Okay, we're back with my brother-in-law and his Achilles, and he's doing well with his healing. The calf strength is getting there, and the tendon strength is getting there, and we're gonna show his calf raise ability in a moment, but let's have a look at the tendon. So this is what a tendon that has been and then naturally heal back together because he's been in the boot. He's now sitting around week 22. And if you look at the tendon now, the base of the tendon is basically back. So here's his right. You can see that size there. That is a massive change to what it was, say, even 10 weeks ago, where it was like way out here. What is still thick is above here. So he, if you look at this tenon here, he is thin there and it is obviously clearly thicker there, but that's the rupture side. But what the good news is, is that is again, that is about half the size of what it was, what it was as well. So this whole thing has been improving and reducing in the size. So it's getting less thick in there, the tissues are improving and it's because he's doing so much strengthening, but he's also had so much time to heal as well. Now, what's interesting about this calf is that it is atrophied, which most calves do. So what happens in an Achilles rupture, and if you've had one of these, this is what you'll notice as well, is most of you will lose that medial gastroc, okay? That'll just sort of flatten off in an atrophy way. Now, if you normally got sort of decent sort of calves like Phil has, you won't notice that that goes away until you sort of have to use it and really look and go, oh, okay, actually there's a shape here and this one has lost a bit of shape. So that muscle there, that loss of power there is what's gonna define how well you can calf raise usually. And you'll notice with him, he struggles on the calf raise. So he can do everything else. He can get on the bike, he can walk, he can do you know, double legged calf raises. He can hop, he can jump on a trampoline. It's great, there's no pain, he feels great. His flexibility is absolutely fine. Like he's way above sort of 10 degrees, he's awesome but he can't calf raise on a single leg by himself. So he's technically banned from running until he can get a calf raise, meaning going up on his toes on one leg. And he's doing all the work around that to try and get there. So the rule is, no matter how good this feels and strong this feels, you absolutely have to get this muscle back and you have to get your calf raise back before you go running. So let's have a look at that. Okay, so the calf raise. Now, he can do a calf raise on two feet. He can do it with weights. Can you do that for me? Off you go on two feet. He can do that. Fine. You can see that muscle's working, right? But when you look at the size of this, compared to the size, now you'll see how much bulk he's lost. And it's quite a lot. There's tone there, which means he can do stuff, but the bulk is gone. So when he goes on the one leg to support his body weight, his brain, one, it's not strong enough to probably do it. That's half the problem. But his brain is getting messages about what strength genetically he used to have and what strength he has now. So he's struggling to actually activate and get his brain getting a single leg calf raise. So if you look at, take this one up for me. Take that one up. Down again. Okay, now lift that one in the air for me. So he's trying to get, so just come down again. Take this off the ground. Oh, no, come down. Lift this one off the ground. Yeah. Now try and push up. See how you just can't get there, right? And he has to put a bit of weight there. Now he's got a little bit, and it is working, but the amount of work he has to put in is quite a lot. And if you're one of the two, it is not that you do anything wrong, it's just that you have to put a ton of work on it day after day after day to try and get this calf raise. Now one way of doing that is going to two again, is he can just do his normal calf raises, right? He'll do those which gives him more range. But at the moment, I'm getting him to hold weights. So he's got some weight on there, so there's extra load for his calf to give him a bit more strength to then try and achieve the eccentric one. So when he does eccentric, he's got to go up on two, and then he's got to come down as much as he can on that one. So he's putting, you know, maybe 75 and 25. He's trying to get as much as he can on this one and eventually this will end up being zero and that'll be 100. Even if it's halfway, that'll do, okay? And then you can work on, so if he comes up sort of halfway and then tries to take it off, when he gets better, then he can come up full way all the way up and then come down. Now the progression from that is, 
eccentrically go up into on, on this, and then he's going to go on a step, then he's going to go single leg on the floor, single leg on a step, single leg with a weight. Okay, and that's how he gets up stronger. So we'll check in with him when he's got that up to speed.